Sure. Okay, let's get back into that real quick. Let's look at our zoning real quick. So when the person comes in, okay, a lot of times this is called the closest hand theory, and this really makes a lot of people feel comfortable because they have their power by each other. And then the second loop that you get, get back here. That's where all the power is. A lot of our techniques are very simple. We use the lead and we hit. But what I want to do is, since this hand is so powerful, I want to use this one on the takeout. So basically, what's going to happen is when he moves, I'm going to position that hit right there. And I'm going to boom, create a shock wave. And then my shock wave, the minute this hand hits, the minute the get cool hits, I'm going to come in with the knee. Boom, create a shock. And then I'm going to turn into Ichimaku. Using the shoulder. <laughs> Lost my balance. And this is the only time for me that Niwaza is functional. Or lose my balance and I trip over your body when I'm doing the dance of death on top of you, then I do my ground work. I don't want to be in this position as a girlfriend gets out with a purse. That's <laughs> what I want to do. Okay. So, anyway. Boom. Shockwave. Shockwave. Uchiba. Boom. Head. Roll. Get in position. What's it called? Oh, sorry. Notice that position I have. Snap that elbow right there, boom. Knee, bust the elbow with my knee. All that. This is my Osei Wazi, this is my immobilization. Okay, so now that we understand that, and for you guys that are looking at the toe going, no way! Okay, let's simplify. It can be even more destructive just with the tent. Once again, person moves, position myself in the head, bam, I'm gonna come in, trap this side, I'm gonna come in with my knee here. Drop this, hook this, bring it out, bust the kneecap there. Okay? Once I get into this position, I can get in get to the back side, and do my rock and roll on the back side. And if you want, we can just leave that knee out. But I figured it's going that way anyway. So I can just leave the knee out, boom, hit, trap, I'm just going to move this one. Drop. In self-defense techniques, not all techniques, none of these techniques are tailor-made. If you just gotta go through them, you gotta go, go through the flow. So when the person comes in, move, the trap, I hit, I might just wipe this hand out of the way. Then come into these knees. Okay? Notice he put his hand up. Okay, that weapon's no longer functional. So now I need to go to another weapon. But if you look at my weapon, one, there's my head. There's my shot wave. I'm going to open this up so you can get a good hit. This one goes. There, there we are. Awesome. Shot wave. Shot wave. Hit. Knee. Don't reach him up if I want. 